Stop the insanity. Get your focus back onto what really matters in life. Your faith, your family, your finances, and your future. Sit back, listen, and change the trajectory of your life. You are listening to the Money for Life podcast. Let's welcome your hosts, Teresa Kuhn and Rick Sapio. Welcome to Money for Life. This is Teresa Kuhn. I am with my partner, Rick Sapio. And today we are going to talk about the distinction between values and purpose. We've been working with this topic for over a decade. Rick, with all the coaching and the training that you've done, a lot of people confuse the two. And I want to start by just sharing a quote on each, and I think that might help. And then Rick, you've got some great things to share. So for purpose, the mystery of human existence lies not in just staying alive, but in finding something to live for. That's from Fedor Dostoevsky. And that really defines purpose. And the difference with values is when clearly defined, your values will simplify your decision-making process and will create fertile soil for you to flourish. And the author is anonymous with that one. But that author could have been you, Rick. You've been talking about values-based decision-making for decades. So why don't you take it from here? Yeah, here is something very interesting about human nature is that people confuse a value and a purpose. And let me summarize it for you in as simple language as possible. I was in a forum years ago and there was a guy in the forum that was very successful business-wise and he kept saying that his purpose was hedonism. I go, what do you mean by hedonism? And he would say, yeah, I just like having a good time. I like being on my island. He owned a beautiful home on an island and I like enjoying myself. And I had to hammer him and his name was Robert. I'm like, Robert, listen, there is a massive difference between a value and a purpose. A value is something you do for yourself. I value time with my family. I value working out. I value eating right. I value relationships with people like you, Teresa. That's an example of a value. A purpose is an expression of your life on the world that makes the world better. So your purpose statement needs to be about what you're leaving behind, what you're imprinting on the world. My purpose is to cure hunger in the world. My purpose is to create an entrepreneur in every home. My purpose is to build massive businesses that employ millions of people. My purpose is to bring values back to America and make it the land of the free, the home of the brave. Whatever it is, it's out there. And it's such an aha for people when I teach them that. And then they get very small. They're like, whoa, I don't really believe that I have a purpose. And the reality is they are so self-absorbed and self-centered on what they like to do in their life that they forget that they're actually here for a reason. And I think just like the quote that you found, Teresa, says that the mystery of human existence is finding why we're here. Why are you here? There's an ancient Vedic quote that says that when someone's born, there's a star that lights up and that star holds their purpose and their values. Isn't that interesting that we all have this? It's in our DNA. It's in the reason why it exists. And yet very few people take the time out of their lives to figure out why they're here. And, you know, you're listening to this podcast for a reason. And I'm going to ask you point blank, not you, Teresa, but you world. You're hearing this. I'm talking to you for a reason. The universe put us together. God put us together. Let me ask you the direct question. What is your purpose for being on this planet? And I purposely left a couple of seconds of silence so our engineers didn't cut that out. People don't want to be confronted with that, Teresa. Uh, That's too heady stuff for me. Really? When you find your purpose and then you write a list of values that you're going to make decisions from. And we've done podcasts on this. There's a book I wrote on this called Who's in Your Room. But when you make decisions based on your values and you make life decisions based on pursuing your purpose, you know what happens overnight? You get massive fulfillment just because you're alive. All that misery goes out the window. All that indecision goes out the window. So I love that you came up with this topic, Teresa. And tell me your experience of people that you meet that know their purpose and their values versus people who don't. What is your experience of them? 
my experience is that they're people that I want to hang out with. They're the people that I want in my life. They're the people that add energy to a room, that light up a room. They're people that you know are completely grounded. And it doesn't matter what happens in life and circumstances. They might have a bad day, but they know where they're going. And they just have a following. They just have an energy that's beautiful. That's who I like to hang out with. And you can pick out somebody who doesn't know their purpose and doesn't know their values. You see a lot of negativity. You see a lot of confusion. You see a lot of indecision. This is a message from our sponsor, The 100 Year Saving Solution. Rick and I do these podcasts because we want to impact people's lives in four areas. Their faith, their family, their finances, and their future. And with a 100-year savings solution, it gives you more options to live a better life in those four areas. It is a specially designed whole life insurance policy that gives you more for your money than you'll ever get from a bank, a CD, or the traditional savings solution. Go to 100yearsavings.com to learn more. I was speaking with a client just this week, and this person has a pretty successful personal training, nutrition, health and wellness business. And he was kind of stuck on trying to make a decision regarding a financial product that somebody had tried to sell him. And I made it super simple for him. I said, look, look at your business. Look at what you do. What's your philosophy? What's your purpose around that? And he told me, and I asked him, hey, what are your values regarding your business and fitness and health? super clear on it. I said, the reason you're in pain right now and you're indecided as to whether to move forward with this product or not is because you don't have your values defined. You don't have your matrix defined in which you can filter your decision. Light bulb came on so fast because he knew this. He was just applying it in his business and his health and didn't realize he could apply it everywhere. And what do we talk about here with Money for Life, Rick? We talk about faith, family, finances, and your future. Purpose and values fit all of this. It's completely congruent. Once you've figured it out in one area of your life, it transfers over. You're 100% right. How you do anything is how you do everything. And it's a perfect segue into people that we all look up to. Think about all the people you look up to that you're afraid to ask for a donation or you're afraid to ask to invest in one of your deals. The reason is because very successful people in your mind are people that know why they're here. They know what they want. They know how they make decisions and they have a strategy or a philosophy for how they live their life. You, every listener here, has the same opportunity. How do you make the decisions? How do you arrive at decisions? What strategy are you looking at? I talked to a girl today on the phone, very interesting conversation. It was somebody that I was going to hire to do something for one of my children. I said, where do you live? And she says, well, I live in so-and-so town. And I said, great. Isn't that about an hour and a half from where I live? She goes, well, yeah, I mean, I work right near you, so it's not that big a deal. I go, you have young kids and you drive an hour and a half each way? And she goes, yeah, we didn't put a lot of thought into that. I have a life philosophy personally that I will never commute. I think commuting is a total and complete waste of time for me. I'm not telling you not to do that, but there are thousands or millions of people that make decisions unconsciously. And you hit the nail on the head with that person you were talking about. Without a strategy or philosophy for how we arrive at decisions, how the hell do you know if you're about to do something that's going to be catastrophic for your life? I love the quote from Business Finishing School that says, until you're crystal clear on your purpose and your values and your catalyzing statement, you have absolutely no idea whether a decision is going to enhance your life or ruin your life. And man, it happens every single day to all of us. So what's the bottom line of this podcast? The bottom line is, write your purpose down. If you don't have it written down, meet with people you trust and come up with a purpose statement. Write your values down. Begin making decisions in all areas of life from your values. Have a philosophy for making decisions as opposed to being a candle in the wind like most of us are. Every day is different depending on what emotion you're having that day. And have people around you that hold you accountable to this way of being. I don't care if you're 90 listening to this or you're 25. It doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. This is a recipe for fulfillment in the four areas that we talk about. Rick, that was so well said. The only other thing I think I'll add is if you're thinking 
you don't have a purpose or you're thinking you don't have values, I would think again, you do have values. You are living out your values today. When you make decisions, you are living out the values and the decisions that you're making. And if you don't like the outcome, if you don't like something in your life, to shift your values and make a decision based on those values. And when it comes to your purpose, think about what you're good at. Think about what your strengths are. Think about what lights you up, what gives you passion, what gives you excitement. The purpose for your life is right there. Rick, when it comes to values and purpose, I wish I had more clarity on this when I was younger. And I love that you teach this. This is probably the number one topic that comes up when you're coaching. People are stuck. Once they get clarity on this, their life goes to another level. Yeah, you know, it's funny. It's the, one of the biggest problems in society. We don't know why we're here. And so I'm going to give you a really simple exercise. I know you're used to being passive as you're listening or watching or whatever, but I don't want you to be passive. I want you to stop everything and say, I am going to come up with my purpose statement. I'm going to come up with my list of values, but I'm going to give you a real simple one. What is the one value that you use all the time that permeates every aspect of your life. I did this exercise with my son who's 12 and he said, that's easy, dad, perseverance. I'm like, whoa, where'd you get that word from? He goes, oh, look, I've been doing karate for eight years. I'm almost a black belt. I've been playing the piano. I speak a foreign language. I excel in chess and it's all because I persevere. I don't quit. All of us have a word. Mine is simplicity. That word permeates every aspect of my life. Even though I've got young children, I've got a business, I put everything I do through the lens of simplicity. How can it be more simple? And it affects my relationships. If someone's toxic, I don't want them in my life. If someone's causing issues or there's a business that's too complicated, I don't want to do it. So mine is simplicity. What is yours? The one value that you can start with and say, you know what? I listened to this podcast and I actually did something. I have a value. I'm going to make decisions from that value from now on. And then fill out the rest of the list and then fill out your purpose. Thank you, Teresa, for another engaging topic. And thank you for your commitment to humanity. I think it's awesome. I think what you do every day inspires so many people, it inspires me to think about podcast topics that are going to impact people and make them better in those four areas. And it inspires me that you want to leave a legacy behind, which makes me want to do the same thing. And I love the quote. It says, if, if you want to inspire others, lead an inspired life. And you are an example of that. So thank you for being my partner. You have just experienced money for life. Implement these strategies today and create a life by design. Have a blessed day.